So after class was over, everybody came up to me. It was literally a line for people wanted to talk to me. And the stuff that they wanted to talk about was just like, you know, I've, I'm going through the same thing. And they just started telling me their, their stories or why they feel the same way that I feel. And it was a lot for me. <laughs> it was a lot to have. It's kind of like once I said something, they needed something from me. And it was a lot. And I was just yes. like, well, maybe this is this is different. This is another feeling. Maybe I should start using my voice. Interesting. <laughs> Hello, self moment number three. Yes. So with that, I was like, oh, wow. Because at this after that, it was a different feeling that I had just in my spirit, just in general. Like I just felt better. Of course, things didn't get better overnight with school and job and life and all of that. But that day I felt something. Yes. So. I go on, I graduate from undergrad. I graduated in 2016, still very dark, but in between that hello self moment at church and graduating, it was very, very dark. I was very depressed. I barely went anywhere. I sat in my room in the dark. I cried. I threw stuff around. I broke stuff. I punched walls. Like this was probably a year. I know I'm going through this for a reason. And that's how I got through that first period of darkness. And during that period as well, I used to write all the time, write my frustrations, how I'm feeling today, why I'm this sad, why did this make me mad? I I documented all of that during that time. I quit seven jobs in 2016 after I graduated and I kept I just kept finding, I had to keep finding my way because I just knew that this, this isn't it. This can't be life. This can't be how I supposed to feel every day. Right. So from 16 to 2018, that was kind of like my build period where I just started shadowing many people. Can I come? Can I come help you on your set today? Can I come do this? Do you need help? Can I come sit in on an editing session? During that time, I'm just learning. And then now I started getting my own clients and I'm okay. I'm, I'm liking this. Like, I like the way this feels, but it still wasn't paying my bills enough. It wasn't consistent enough to keep me living. Like, what, what is this? Depression number two. All of these feelings, all of everything that I was going through, I had it all written down. So I took that and I wrote a script. I was studying Proverbs in the Bible and I was just like writing just different Proverbs just down on paper. I just kept writing and kept writing. It. So I took the proverb scripts that I wrote down. It's in the same notebook as all of my journals. And I look at my journals and I'm like, I need to connect these two. 